Due to all the people that watched the mercenary guide, I've decided to do a loader guide since loader is my favorite character and probably the one I feel best equipped to give advice about. Loader's passive allows him to gain a temporary shield for doing damage. The amount of shield that he gets is somewhere between a topaz brooch and an aegis. Loader's primary is just a pretty standard melee attack, and I don't believe that the spring cancel glitch works on Loader to make him attack any faster, just so you know. After about your first loop, it's a good idea to pick up Visions of Heresy because it replaces your primary melee attack with a ranged attack, which you know is better because you can keep your distance, and by that time, the majority of your damage is coming from your shift, so you're probably not even going to be really using your melee attack all that often. Grapple Fist is the default secondary for Loader, and it doesn't do any damage, but it allows him to fly around small enemies. But this is one of the few cases in Risk of Rain where the ability, the alternate ability, is literally just a direct upgrade. Where Spike Fist does damage and it pulls the smaller targets towards you. All I mean to say is that it's worth unlocking Spike Fist. Personally, I much prefer Charged Gauntlet over Thunder Gauntlet. I do like the ability to hold down my fully upgraded charge and then be able to use it when I want and it does more damage, you just have to hold it for longer. Really you can do whatever you want, but I recommend running Charge Gauntlet and I think the main reason is also that with Thunder Gauntlet it stops your momentum so you can really only hit one enemy at a time with your charge, whereas with a Charge Gauntlet you can just pretty much hit as many enemies as you want through your dash and it keeps his momentum. Now, finally for the specials, the M551 Pylon and their Thunder Slam. I think that the Thunder Slam is going to be better for most people. The only exception where I would tell people to take the Pylon is that if you are a very new player with Loader and you have a difficult time dealing with a lot of flying enemies and you're dying to a lot of wisps, then I guess it can help out, especially in the beginning. But once you get better with Loader, it's almost universal that you should just take Thunder Slam. Getting better with Loader is getting more comfortable with the way he moves and the way he grapples. Really, at least what I do when I play Loader is I kind of dash in and then kind of get away from the enemy and then dash back in and repeat that kind of cycle as you can see where I get kind of out, I get kind of far away from the horde of enemies and then I just quickly ramp, run in there, do my damage and then leave. I think that's the best strategy, especially so that you don't die because it's very easy to get overwhelmed since you don't really have a ranged attack. The most important part about playing Loader is mastering his movement, and that isn't really something I can just show you. You'll have to play around with Loader yourself to kind of get a feel of how he moves, but one thing to note is that if you are actually higher than the point that you are trying to grapple, then you will kind of get stopped, but if you are lower than the point that you're trying to grapple, you will kind of skate across the ground. It's just a quick helpful movement tip. Oh, and if you want a more in-depth guide specifically about Loader's movement, I'll leave a quick 5 minute video down in the description, so you can just quickly hit that link if you want to learn more about his movement. When it comes to items, due to his utility skill scaling with damage, items that increase your speed also increase your damage. So things like Paul's Goat Hoof and Energy Drink end up being really really strong on top of items like focus crystals that are good with melee characters, so he just has so much synergy with so many items that it just makes him a very broken character. I just want to end up with saying that Loader isn't that hard of a character to play, and if you just play him enough, then you will get good with him. You just Once you learn how to move around comfortably and use your grapple and getting in and out of danger, you will be completely fine and you will be able to beat Monsoon with a relative ease. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more. I've got two other videos on this channel, and next week I'm planning to make a video on either Elden Ring or Octopath, so watch out for that.